I don't know if you noticed in the email, but you need a chair for the workout today and a pair of weights. Okay. So we're going to start by just doing forward lunges. So maybe stand at the bottom of your mat, take a step forward, lunge, both knees are bending, back knee is bending. Take your time, get your foot in the right spot and then commit to the lunge. Keep your gaze forward. And just really be mindful of the knee that it's not wobbling towards the midline. <laughs> I'm laughing because my right knee clicks. <laughs> Whoa. Switching legs. Anytime we work with the legs, it gets your heart rate going. It's good. Okay, and then we're going to do side lunges. So you're going to just take a step out and bend the knee that you're stepping out with. And from the side, looks like this. So Cinda did me a big favor and found me a, a mic that you clip on. And so the sound is a much, much better. Okay, so we'll step out the other way. And click every time I bend that right knee. <laughs> That's how I know I'm alive. Okay, now back lunge. So come up to the top of your mat. This is a little harder because you can't see where you're going. Find your spot, commit to it. And kind of get the arms doing the opposite thing. So my right leg's going back, my right arm is going forward and vice versa. Like a little piston of the arm and the leg coming together. Okay, change legs. <laughs> My heart rate's picking up a bit. Whoa. All right, come on down into a plank, both hands on the mat initially, and then just two alternating side planks. So reach up with one arm, switch, reach up with the other arm. If you've got any wrist issues, you could do this on your forearms. Good, and then take some downward dog and stretch everything out. Slow down your heart rate. And walk yourself ahead. And come on back up. Okay, same thing all the way through. So forward lunge to start. Step forward, bend your back knee. <laughs> Does challenge your balance. I'm starting to feel my hamstrings working now. Just gonna watch you guys. Good, switch legs, other leg. Okay, 
guys. Good, and then turn sideways on your mat and do side lunges. So step out, bend the knee of the leg that you stepped out with, step back. You can open a window. Oh yeah, there's snow out there. <laughs> Good, go to the other end of the mat, step out with the other leg. Keep your chest up and your gaze forward. Oof. Okay, back lunges. Start at the top of your mat, take a step back, find your spot, and then commit to the lunge. It's a little, little wobbly. Then you get the pattern. Good, other leg. Legs are on fire. Awesome. Down into your plank, alternating side plank. Turning your hips. Good, and downward facing dog. Stretch it all out. Good. There we go, guys. Come on back up. Get a sip of water. <laughs> and I'll walk you through what we're gonna do today. So you do need a chair. You do need two weights. It could be cans of soup or if you have weights at all, that'd be great. Um, if you don't have weights, it's okay. You can still do the work. And um, the third thing in each circuit is just a, a body weight exercise, okay? So with a chair, and it's single-sided, so you do one side for 45 seconds and then the other side for 45 seconds. With the chair, this is kind of fun. It's an abducted swing. So I'm going to take my right leg across and then I'm going to swing it up. Across and swing it up. Okay, so I'm holding on to something. It doesn't have to be a chair. Um, your exercise with the two weights, so I have two fives. I'm going to try to use both of them so I have enough weight to pull. But whatever you have is fine. You come into a lunge and you row, one arm. And there is a little twist to that. So I am pulling my shoulder blade in my back and I'm pulling with the right, so I'm looking to the right. Okay, so you do that on one side and then the other. And then the third thing, you're gonna take one of your weights and put this together with a back lunge from the warm up. So this is called a victory lunge. You're gonna take a step back, find your spot, and when you stand up, push the weight up. Hmm, I might be able to use both fives for that one. We'll see how it goes. All right, so get your chair, whatever it is you're gonna hold on to, to do these abducted swings. And we're going for 45 seconds on each side. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna swing in front and then swing up and out. And I do need the chair. You can hold the wall. 
would be another option. When you lift that leg, just take a little pause at the top where you hold it up. So you feel your glutes. And I feel my inner thigh working. Nice. Okay. I'm going to switch sides. Oof. That leg's awake. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Other side. Want to look. So, Cinda, I don't know if this movement pattern is good for your hip. If it's not feeling good for you, take it straight back instead of out to the side. Yeah, good. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have a little clunking going on at first. <laughs> After the first three, then it's gone now. I don't know if that's in my hip or my low back or what that is. Okay, Whew. legs are awake. Let's do the lunge and row now. So whatever you have as a weight is fine. Even if it's too light, if you hold that row, if you hold the squeeze for a split second longer, you're gonna get just as much out of it. So worry about whether you have the right equipment or not. Alrighty, here we go. So forearm down on the leg and then squeeze, pulling the weights back towards you. Yep, to that little hold where you feel your shoulder blade move into your back. I'm sweating. Good, and we'll switch sides. Come down, get your forearm on your thigh, and row. Nice work. Oh, I'm starting to lose my grip on these two weights. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Okay, victory lunge. So the back lunge, holding one weight. So you're gonna hold the weight in the same arm as the leg that's moving back, okay? And we'll get the timer in the right spot. My heart rate's up, here we go. So find your back lunge, find your spot, and then when you stand up, push the weight up. So the weight, you always have your elbow under the weight. Even here where I'm stepping back, my elbow is underneath the weight, and then just drive it up. Just watching your knees. Good. <laughs> yeah, slow down if you're wobbling. Take your time, get the right spot. Good. Okay, changing sides. So hold your weight up, we're gonna step back, find your spot. So get the pattern the first couple of times, go slow so you've got it figured out. And then you can be more dynamic with it.
there we go. Nice. Take a break, take a sip of water. <sighs> Try to get your heart rate down. <laughs> Okay, so back to using your chair or whatever it is you're holding on to. Again, it could be the wall. Oh, here we go. Ready? Everybody standing up? Okay, here we go. So you swing the leg in front and then swing it out to the side. Yeah, good. Just loosening up the hips. That looks good, Cinda. Nice, nice and high there, Moyen. Good. Both Brenda's. <laughs> good, Francis. Okay, change sides. Away we go. Swing in front, swing out to the side. <laughs> Not quite sure what to do with my arm. I'm just going to set my hand on my hip. Builds. Wow. Awesome. Okay. That's done. Your lunge and rowing. All right. So get your weights. Forearm on your thigh, your back heel can be down on the floor. And then just pull like you're pulling a lawnmower. Does anyone remember doing that? <laughs> so it's very dynamically pulling it back and very controlled lowering it down. I want to really feel your shoulder blade move around on your back, sliding into your spine, all the muscles of the back making that happen. My leg is giving me feedback too. <laughs> Switch. Oh, get the timer in the right spot. Here we go. Rowing. Also a little stretch into the chest when you row, when you really pull that shoulder blade back, lengthening into the front of your shoulder, into your chest, pectoral muscles. Nice work, guys. Awesome. Come on up. Okay. Our victory lunge. So standing at the top of your mat, so you've got lots of room behind you. Take a big step back, find your spot, and then dynamically push it up, pushing the weight up as you stand up. Breathe out.
Got to coordinate your breath with the effort. Good. So you can last. <laughs> Changing sides. Put your weight up. Find a spot with your foot. Stepping back. Lunging. And then dynamically standing up. Gaze forward, focusing on your form, trying to keep a cadence with your lunges. There we go. Woo, well done guys. Take a, take a break, take a sip of water. That's the first circuit, and we've got two more to go through, so we're doing great. Okay, good. So next one, with your chair, um, you could use the steps if you're close, if you're in the basement, you could use your steps. Um, if you have a stool, um, find something though that you can step up onto, and there's options, okay? So this is what I'm going to ask you to do is to step up. I just did it again. I put my head in the TRX strap. <laughs> so you step up with one leg, stand right up, step down, step down, up, up, down, down. If that's not happening for you today, just do the step and lean in and then step down, step, lean in and down. Okay. So that's the option there. Um, second exercise is going to be a one-arm chest press, laying on your back. So I have two fives here. I could probably use more weight, but I'll use what I've got. I'm going to lay down on my back. My elbow comes right out from my shoulder. And I just push the weights up, carefully bring them down. So it's dynamically pushing up and then lots of control bringing them down. So you keep the elbow underneath the weights the whole time. So the weights don't go there or back here. <laughs> okay. <sighs> and we'll do both sides. And then the third exercise in the circuit is a three-legged downward dog. So you kick one leg up and back. And then you come into plank and bring your knee to your elbow. So I breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so that's the three. I think this is kind of the hard circuit. But we'll get through it. So decide what you're going to use. Has everybody got that figured out? If you've got a chair or a little step or the stairs. Yeah. Okay. If nothing else, this time teaches us to be creative. <laughs> use the resources that we have, right? Okay. So here we go. Whichever variation. So step up with both feet. Step down with both feet. Arms are doing the opposite action. Don't worry about the arms if that's not working. Okay, and that a shake. Oh, this open window feels really nice. Here we go on the other side. So go carefully on the first one. You build a pattern. This gets the heart rate up. Awesome. OK. 
Okay. Hair out of the way. We're gonna lay down on our backs and do a one arm chest press. Which I, I quite love this, this exercise, chest press. It's very satisfying, I find. Okay, I'm resetting the timer. So everybody down on your back. You might wanna bend your knees and just kind of brace the lower back into the mat. Take your elbow out at a right angle from your shoulder and here we go. Just pushing up, nice and controlled on the way down. So dynamically pressing and carefully coming down. You know, I only have 10 pounds, but I am feeling this, so that's great. Yeah, do try to keep your waist and your mid back pressing into the mat. Okay, it's a little wobbly. Okay, I'm gonna change sides. Get your elbow straight out from your shoulder. And away we go. Wow, very wobbly on this arm. <laughs> so I gotta come down slower. Nice. It's like you're punching up. Awesome. Okay. Let's come back up and into downward dog. That part's nice. <laughs> okay, so you're in your downward dog. Let's lift the right leg up in the air behind you. And then look to your hands, come forward into a plank and bring the knee to the elbow. Inhale back into that three-legged dog. And then exhale, knee to elbow. Enjoy that nice long stretch where you push the leg up and back, stretching out the back of both legs. Good. Just reset for a second. I <clears throat> change the timer. And away we go on the other side. So left leg up and back. And knee to elbow. This is fun. So again, I can just see some people's foot. Oh, your shoulder's bugging you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice work, guys. And it's time. Okay, so back to the first exercise, which is the step ups. Also heard these called rangers. I'm not sure why, so I call it a step up. <laughs> Get a sip of water. Let's take a tiny break. It's good to pace yourself. Timer's impatient. All right, so let's get it done. Ready? Put one foot up on, this, on the chair or the step, whatever you're on. And then power it up, bring it back down and step down. <laughs> it really does help to pick something ahead of you, not down on the floor, but at eye height that you focus your gaze on. Gives you a point of reference. 
So it helps with your balance and your coordination. Awesome. Give it a shake. And we'll do the other leg. Where you go. Finding its wall handy every now and then. <laughs> awesome, that's done. Put your chair off to the side. Down on your mat to do your chest press. Resetting the timer. All right. So I started with my right arm last time. I'm going to start with my left arm this time because my left arm seemed a lot wobblier. So we'll give it the benefit of going first. All right, here we go. Breathe out as you push. Breathe in as you carefully lower down. So dynamically punching it up and carefully lowering it down, keeping the weights above your elbow the whole time. Awesome. Changing sides. It's nice to lay on our backs, eh? <laughs> Here we go. Other side. Coordinating your breathing with the movement, breathing out as you exert, which in this case is the pushing up. Awesome work, guys. Set the weights off your mat. We'll turn around and come into downward dog. Again, I'm gonna start with my other leg. So I started with right last time. I'm gonna start with left this time. And to see how it goes, away we go. There's your beep, knee tuck, and extension. Maureen, maybe you could do bird dog instead. That's bothering your shoulder. Nice extension there, Francis. Looks great. <clears throat> Good. And just switch sides. <clears throat> Here we go.
Well done, well done. Get a sip of water. Good. So we're gonna finish with a pair rather than a circuit, okay? And this is just gonna focus on arms, to tone our arms for the summer. <laughs> so um, it's just gonna be two exercises. So the first one is that lunge, but a tricep kickback. So it looks like the one we did at the beginning, but in this case, you hug your arm against your side, you go straight back, and then just bring it to a right angle. So it's dynamically going back and with control coming back to that right angle, okay? And your second exercise, you can sit on your chair and do a concentration curl. So have your feet apart, tuck your elbow inside your thigh, other hand is bracing here, and very controlled, pulling it up, carefully going down. Okay. <laughs> I'm going with a five for the triceps. Okay, so coming into a lunge, here we go. Hug your arm against your side, go straight back, carefully down to a right angle. So we're not swinging forward. Okay, you're gonna work your, your biceps in the next exercise. So just focus on your tricep here, back of the arm. And really important that the arm stay hugging against your side, that it's not out away from you. So you've got that bit of stability and it really focuses on the tricep. <laughs> I'm shaking. That's good. It means I've woken up my nervous system too. A little hold, if you don't have a heavy weight, hold when you extend the arm. Just give it an extra couple of seconds. There we go. Whew, that arm's cooked. Let's come to the other side. And here we go. Straight back and carefully down. So when you take the weight back, it's fairly dynamic. So you really feel the tricep squeeze and then control it and bring it back to a right angle. I'm feeling it. Yeah, starting to feel that pick up. <laughs> and I bet our arms are turning pink right now. That's good. Good. Okay, <clears throat> concentration curl. So it's a fairly, fairly butch stance. It's okay. <laughs> ah, sit on your chair. Get your weights, tuck your elbow inside your thigh, and then it's nice and controlled on the way down so we don't jar the elbow, and then dynamically using the muscles to pull it up. Oh. Yeah, this 10 pounds is gonna get heavy. Whoa. Wow, okay, other side. Getting ready with the timer, here we go. <laughs> Elbow tucked inside the thigh. There we go. A little harder on this side. Nice and controlled. Awesome. Okay, one more round. Back to your lunge and your tricep kickback. There you go.
Nice work. Good, keeping your elbows tight. All right, and switch sides. Where you go. They call it the bicep part, they call it a concentration curl. I think they should call this a concentration kickback because you're really managing it, concentrating on your form, dynamically kicking back, controlling it coming forward. There you go. Good job, guys. <laughs> All right. Back to sitting on your chair. Bicep curls. Okay. You ready? Here we go. Okay, changing sides. <laughs> Had to fix my mic a little bit here. Okay, here we go. That's it, guys. Yay, workout's done. Time for the cool down. Okay. So get your weights off the mat. And let's come down into um, downward dog again. You guys can hear me okay? Okay, thank you. I did fix something here, and now I'm putting it back in. Wires. <laughs> So downward dog, stretching out everything in your back, your hamstrings, your glutes, your back. And take your right leg up and back, and this time come into pigeon on the right. So bring the right knee up to the right wrist. And maybe take the left knee a little further back. If you need to modify and bring the knee into the middle of the mat so you don't strain the knee, then go ahead and do that. And just really slow down your breathing now, trying to calm the nervous system. <sighs> and then bring yourselves back up to your hands if you fold it over. Curl the toes under on your back foot, your left foot, and get your left knee off the floor. And just straighten that knee and then sink down, playing with the stretch in the back of the right hip, the front of the left hip. And then we'll lift back into downward dog.
Take your left leg up and back and slide ahead into pigeon on the left side. Again, modify in any way that you need to. Give this four or five full rounds of breath. Feeling a little sweaty, <laughs> a little warm, and a little satisfied. Curl the toes under on your right foot and straighten that knee. Play with the edges. So not locking into position, but moving in and out. And then one more time back into downward dog. Come on down to your hands and knees and we'll do some cat and cow. So rounding your back and your head hang upside down. And then come back to neutral. Squeeze your back, sinking the chest towards the mat. We'll just roll through that. And then just come back up and switch around to laying down on your back. Ah. Let's take both legs up in the air and flex your feet. And then grab the back of your thighs or your calves with your hands, whatever you can reach. And push the legs into the hands, straightening the knees, and the hands are pulling back, creating resistance. And then from here, just do a small movement of pedaling the legs. So bending one knee and focusing on the other leg that's straight. So when the leg is straight, you're strongly pushing it into the hand and the hand is resisting. And let's go back and forth a few times. Good, and then relax that, put your feet wide on the sides of your mat. So knees bent, feet wide. And then roll up into a wide stance bridge, lifting the hips up and just lengthening into the front of the hips and into your quads, kind of sway the hips side to side, pushing more into one foot and then into the other. Really getting into your quads. You did a lot of legs today. It's good, strong legs. Carefully articulate down, backward pelvic tilt. And then do some knee sways, so feet wide, take the knees off to the right, stretching out your left hip, and then back up and go the other way. And the wider your feet are, the more you'll find here. And bring your knees back up to the middle, bring the feet closer together. Let's put the right ankle on the left thigh. Bring your legs in towards you, maybe holding on to your left leg. If you can get a grip on your pants or the back of your leg. And flex your right foot. So pull the right toes towards the shin. That helps to keep the kneecap in alignment. And maybe bring the legs a little closer. And keep that figure four, but put your left foot down and then twist to the left, rolling onto your left thigh. Godspeed. Maybe pushing the right knee away from you with your left hand <clears throat> or bringing the right knee closer to you, whatever feels needed. Stretching out the outer hip or the inner thigh. All right, let's come on up out of that. Change your legs around, so left ankle on top. Bring the legs towards you. All the same cues, but just 
finding that nice bit of opening in the outside of the hip and into the IT band at my left side. Maybe bringing the legs a little closer or pulsing in and out of that. And then put your right foot down and twist to the right, just rolling over onto your hip. Your left foot is still hooked on the top of your right thigh. And play with sensations in your hip, in your leg. Bring the knee closer or move the knee away. Good. Okay, slowly come up out of that. Unwrap your legs. And just hug your knees for a moment to bring the sides back together. And just take your legs down. Coming into Shavasana now, just arranging ourselves comfortably and letting go of all that effort, all that yang of our workout. Helping ourselves transition into a calmer state, both physically and mentally and emotionally. One of the most tremendous benefits of exercise and moving your body and become stronger in every way. And just be a silent observer to how it feels to lay here quietly Noticing all the little details, so practicing interoception of sensing what's going on on the inside. Allow your breathing to have its own rhythm. Each time you breathe out, see if there's some small bit you can get to soften a little more. Maybe your forehead. Maybe your legs. Noticing how you feel in this moment and just enjoying that, savoring the pause. And then begin to deepen your breath, like you're just drinking in the best glass of cold water, just drinking in that inhale. And then sigh it all out. And keep going with those really full, delightful breaths. Start to move your body again, come into any stretch or shape that feels helpful maybe just reaching the arms up overhead and lengthening down with the legs maybe draw the knees back in again you can roll onto your side for a breath or two And come back up to sitting up. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Thanks for putting in such good effort today. Um, Single-sided workouts can be a little more challenging, a little humbling sometimes when we see how one side is compared to the other. <laughs> but that's how we fix it. That's how we get stronger. So thank you for your work and for joining me online. Namaste.